Welcome back to another episode of Disrupting Asia. I'm Kian, your host here at Disrupting Asia, and I just returned back from an amazing but grueling 100k ultra marathon in Chiang Rai, and I'm now back in Chiang Mai where it's a little bit raining here. Welcome to Disrupting Asia and if you're new here, Disrupting Asia is a platform that helps to connect entrepreneurs in Asia. Our aim is to build communities around the continent and to become the number one source for reliable news and information around Asia startups. Now every week we will feature talented entrepreneurs here in Asia who build and grew successful businesses here on the continent. We will also talk about essential skills, tools and systems that will make not only a business but also you personally more successful. Now guys, in this episode we will talk about patience. Now everyone says patience is something given, but the truth is patience is a very hard skill to master. Especially in a world where we can get everything through modern technology and just with the push of a button, we are used to instant gratification. We can get what we want and whenever we want. Where just a couple of years ago we expected a pizza to be delivered in 30 minutes, we can get nearly any type of food we want now within the same period. We can schedule an Uber or Grab to pick us up where we want and when we want. And if you have any question and don't know the answer, we simply open Google, right? We can contact anyone we want worldwide through a variety of direct messaging apps. And while technology is simply great and will get even better month after month, a significant downfall is that we are not patient anymore. We used to get immediate results, but not used anymore to wait for anything. There are even lots of studies out there that prove that people get nervous without their mobile devices, even if it's just for a few minutes. And if you're striving to become a better yourself, you first have to learn how to become patient before you start learning anything significant. Because here's the thing, you have to be willing to spend a lot of time on a plateau, on the same level, for many weeks or even months. You don't run a marathon with little or no training and expect right results, right? You don't become a physician just by studying a semester. And you will certainly not run a great business within two or three months. If you strive for success, and I mean in every area in your life, you have to be patient. Here are three quick tips for you on how to stay patient. Number one, have a mission. Now it would be easy to stay, be patient and stick to it. But that would make almost no sense. Rather, you have to be mission driven. You have to find a purpose for what you're doing. Simply ask yourself why. Why am I doing this? For whom am I doing this? Take a deep breath and look at the big picture. Where do I want to be next week? Where do I want to be next month? Where do I want to be a year from now? Look at the ultimate goal you have. In addition, if you have an ambitious mission or goal, it's helpful to break it down into several smaller goals. Then think about the reachable deadline and give yourself a little reward. This way, it's going to be much more easier to work on bigger long-term projects without losing it and getting nuts. If you reflect every day on the purpose of your goal and mission, it's so much more easier to put in the work, to stay motivated and to stay patient until you reach your goal. Number two, stop looking for perfection. Yes, we're striving for perfection. And to be honest, even I have to remind myself often that perfection is the enemy of progress. See, you're fired up when starting something, have a great flow, but suddenly you're somewhere stuck. Don't spend too much time trying to solve it or to make it perfect. Demanding perfection will just stress you out. So many people get lost in the details and trying to make everything perfect instead of asking whether their work puts them actually into the right direction. See, in the entrepreneurial world, mistakes and missteps will happen, but it's the momentum that matters and ensuring time is not wasted over little things that won't matter in the long run. Number three, practice patience every day. Yes, after all, patience also takes practice. So how can you increase your ability to stay calm and face stress easily? Go out and practice. For example, next time you go to the grocery store, queue in the longest line or take a cycle to work. Or instead of using the drive through why don't you just park your car and go inside? Open social media only twice a day and set the time for it. For example, 12 noon and 6 p.m. In summary, Patience takes a bit of practice, but it's absolutely manageable and within a short amount of time. Wanna know my little secret for patience? 
It's running. For two reasons. First off, running makes me happy and relaxed and I can take on difficult tasks more easily after I ran. Secondly, there are no shortcuts for me, speaking. If my aim is to run 20k on a day, I either run and walk this 20k than not finishing or even starting it. I know that I will eventually hit the 20k, but I also know that it will may take a little bit longer than planned. So go out and start running now. Always remember, choose long-term growth and success over immediate gratification. It won't be necessarily easy, but far more fulfilling in the long term. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're on every major platform such as Stitcher, Anchor and iTunes. Also, head over to www.disrupting.asia to stay in the loop as we publish epic content on a regular basis. www.disrupting.asia Thank you very much for listening and I see you on the next episode.